I'm taking some time off. And I did, I took like, um, I think it was like a year, year and a half off. I maybe did like four videos in a year. But it was so good. Gentlemen, a short view back to the past. Would you believe it? <laughs> what situation? I'll never retrieve it. Right. Let's lay waste to you, you horrible, horrible oik. Had I been slightly less rubbish, that would have been the run. Coulda, shoulda, woulda been better. But we're gonna get it done. And that's the most important thing. Unless the 1% is something else, and who knows? I mean, it could just be playing that one last cruel trick on me. I, I don't trust any of it. Come on. Come on. There it is. What a hollow victory. More hollow than that flipping tree. That was a slog and a half. But we did it. Bashed, bruised, and integrity on a flight somewhere else. We're going to beat chapter two with exactly what we beat chapter one with. Why? I don't know. Should you do it? Absolutely not. Are you stupid? You do get Valkyrie Cat though, don't you? No, I don't have time for it. Shut up. Yes. 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 Here we are. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Emperor of Darkness was really in our souls the whole time. Ooh, Bowmut. I suppose. Today? Today's objective? I suppose it will be for you, won't it? The video will be within 24 hours long, I imagine. More than today's objective for me is to get him, uh, and we're gonna have to start somewhere. That being Korea, with energy inflation. 25, flipping. Okay. I like a nice simple start, to be honest. I like a nice simple anything, actually. Anything I can do, it's a, it's a blessing when, when it's eventually found. Right. Oh, dear me. Look how expensive everything is. Wow. How blurry everything is as well. Good old Battle Cats. I mean, my version is probably actually extremely unupdated. Maybe everything's been solved. Maybe everything is super high res now. But what I do know is that these Doges are super high health. I mean, they're sticking, they're not sticking around. Well, they were. I mean, we're overpowering them now, but it was looking a bit dangerous. Wouldn't you agree? You would agree, wouldn't you? I know you'd agree. That's pretty much it then, isn't it? All gone. Nearly. There we go. We're earning. <laughs> Very slightly. Ooh, energy recovery ad. Yes, please. Do like myself a freebie, even if one has to suffer through some horrendous ad to get it. What's it to be? I lay down my gambit of upgrading my worker cat. Only now just getting a tank cat. How do you like that? You don't. You don't. You don't. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh dear. No, I don't like that. This isn't taking ages, the destruction will be base now. Can you, can you clear off? Bit of space, thanks. That's lovely. Far more ideal. Sambas, absolutely winning out the day. Lovely stuff. I think we could probably do with uh, going a little bit faster through these initial ones. I mean, by the looks of having 20 speed ups, I've spent some undue cat food along the line somewhere, so might as well make use of it. Right. Okay. Brinkmanship tank cat, I think. And then a oh, gross. It seems to work so far. We shan't flaunt our ubers. It's, it's very gauche. We'll, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll be gauche later. I've clearly still got it. Look at the stacking. They're like drop shadows of themselves. Emboldened and ready to destroy you. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That was this again. Can't rely on finishing a sentence just as we get to the base because it takes so long to destroy it. Thank you. We're not earning much from these, are we? But push onwards through them and soon we'll regret not enjoying how easy they were. There yeah, you. Uh, you. And is it, what else was I going to put in there? I'm not fooling anyone when I'm suggesting that I'm I'm actually weighing up in my mind what I'm going to do. I'm obviously not. Hey! Treasure! That makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Good stuff. Cambodia. Off we toddle. Whoosh. Boing. How long will a samba last? I'm not feeling very confident. But I was wrong to not feel confident. 
Got a really holding its own. Thank you, Samba. As ever, with great power comes great relaxation. This is actually working to our advantage quite a lot, how strong these doges and snatches, etc. are being. Because it's just given us loads of time to build up the stack. I mean, not so much of the hitty units, but the sambas. So many sambas. You'd hear drums for the rest of your life would be banging around in your head. You'd never be able to escape the drumming. Ugh. I mean, I said about these, these slot being strong, and they very much are. Let's cannon them back, thank you very much. Start actually thinking about stacking our power units. Again, mate, you're overstating the amount of thought that it requires. Tapping on two little buttons. Oh, a banana. I like a banana. Don't really need the XP, and that's fortunate because I'm not really getting much. Oh, oh no. Oh, hang on about. Oh no. Of course, because I'm not grading anything, I'm not getting any user rank. And whatever leadership I had, probably won. I've spent it. Ooh, missions. Ah, look, this is better. I'm going to claim these. Because, you see, oh, oh, I've got some more cat food now, so I suppose I'll just have to replenish my energy. 30 cat food. Oh, this is just poor behaviour. It's not a good idea, but uh, the show must go on, I suppose. Couple of worker cat upgrades, why not? We've got a nice base length of which to play for time. Sambas are God, knocking it out of the park. When you think of how much cat food you need for a Samba, and how much cat food I've spent on energy recovery, the value of Samba is really coming through here. Oh, Ippo! Okay, I raise you a worker cat upgrade. Oh, duh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's told me what it thought of that, okay. We've cleared the stuff around it. I think, actually, I can continue with my attitude to spending being worker catwoods. We've got plenty of space to get... We haven't got plenty of space. That's that's a fabrication. Was it base hit? It might have been base hit. So, actually, stop putting so many units out, son. You need to get your worker cat up. But also, hopefully, keep that gross alive for a little bit longer. Oh, no. I'm not doing this properly at all. We'll do one in, one out. I think that works quite well. Level 7 worker cat already. Things are a-dying. The cat cannon is a-firing. And level 8. Let's start building up something. Three meat shields at once. That will be more than enough for doges and snatches, I'm sure of it. Then we start with the gross cats. And just make sure we have enough for when it comes around again, because everything is prohibitively expensive. When the hippo comes out, we shall whack it back with a cannon. I'm not sure how useful that actually really was, but uh, the sound that I made there gave me encouragement. A, a battle cry, you could say. Oh, oh, that, oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> no! Uh. Let, less, less static now. But then again, fighting closer to home we know works better. What did I call it? Lure and push through? We've even got enough money for Terence! I'd never thought I'd see him again. Well, that's a lie, but maybe not so soon. And oh, beautiful. Well done, son. Good job, good start. What a first impression. A, a second first impression. A first impression of a new era. A chapter three era. Well, this seems all a bit nice and calm. A little bit more serene than previously. Samba is just outperforming the field. I could just win these of Samba alone. What a good value purchase. Sponsored by Samba. What a good value purchase. Buy one today. Ooh, it's too good. Oh no. We're going to unearth something, and I don't know what it is. We've gone below 3,000. We've gone below 2,000. The Samba's still going. We'll just clear them away with a cat cannon. Actually, that, that no. We're going to lose that battle. But that's fine. Max worker cat. If there is something, we can now very adequately deal with it. I'm going to chance my arm. No, I'm not. Oh, that's really embarrassing. Oh, no. That's really bad. Terence has disappointed me by being too expensive and precipitating my loss. Let's keep things simple. Keep it simple, silly. Off my Christmas card list, Terence. I'm just going to do Sambas. Ah! What have I done? I've done it again. All three meat shields, emergency mode. Come on, fight them. Destroy them. Good stuff. So, th there didn't appear to be anything in this base, so we might just get it in one, which, honestly, I don't want, because that would just make it even more embarrassing that, well, we've almost lost, like twice, and have lost, fully lost. It's just those guys, isn't it? That's all it is. It's all the people, us 
British are sent over to Australia coming out to pick a fight. <laughs> I don't blame them. I can understand the grievance. But as always, through brute force, Britain's going to win again. Whoa. God save the Queen. Singapore. What kind of mangled route is this? Did I just never notice this before? Look. Flipping heck. Surely you could have found a better way of travelling. God, you like the Formula One season. Air Miles McGee over here. Not a fan. Oh, they've learnt the art of stacking. I shouldn't have talked about it. Loose lips sink ships. Look at this. It's fine. Their, their stacking was of units that we could destroy. They can hear from me all they like. Most of it's just going to confuse them. <laughs> what? what? What's that? That must be some really useful information we can discern from that. L listen again. <laughs> yes, you see? It's worth waiting a year for a bit of this. Let me listen again. <laughs> oh, loads more of those guys. Crikey. Oh, oh no, no. My amassed stack. Anyway, let's be eminently sensible. The way that we're going to do that is by slowing things down. Meet shield and tighten. And then, bam! Yes, you know it makes sense. Good boy, Terence. That's 2-1 in favour of you in terms of good deeds. Even making the base destruction a little bit quicker. Maldi Vez. Starting to feel better about my 30 cat food and all that energy. Despite the apparently high energy costs, it's getting us through a decent few levels. I suppose it's all relative when your units cost this much. It's, it's the battle cat's cost of living crisis. How on trend. Look at that. Beige! Out of breath. I hope you enjoyed your your walk on extravaganza there, Peach, because it's hopefully not going to last much longer. I know you're pretty strong. I know that we haven't got an axe cat or anything quite like that. But do you know what? Other than that. We're going to be dandy. Flipping hope, because we're running a bit low on monies now. Only one gross, like no meat shields. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, no. No, no, that's, oh, that's not very good. He's going to be on the base. He is on the base. Oh, dear. It's, it's every time I reload this, it's like I'm resetting my brain. I just cannot remember whether these things are base hit or timer. It just absolutely vacates my head. I suppose I never checked in the first place, but really, surely I'd be able to have some inkling. Absolutely no idea. Well, in light of not knowing, we'll presume it's base hit. Stick around here and upgrade the worker cat because upgrading your worker cat is good anyway. It's, it's definitely true. It's Mostly true. It's sometimes true. Stop there. I think we've got enough units for a while. Having like more than three Sambas and you've pretty much won anyway. Look at that. I told you, Sambas. You can't control them. I'm not going to do level eight worker cat. This might actually be perfectly judged. It is. A whisker. A meal whisker away from their base. And they start pushing us back. Meaning we can get that level eight worker cat and build up some proper stuff. Including the big T-man himself. I'm going to wait for to get both him and Gross, and then I'm going to meet Shield around them. They're not going to take any nonsense. Uh, oh, yeah, good. No, oh, no! He, he finally gets one whack on the Peach, and the Peach is like, I'm not having that, son. Not having your disrespect, thank you very much. Oh, it's happening again, I think. But Terence is dead. Don't know if he was there before. But my grosses are dying. It's a strong, strong enemy, that Peach. And I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. The red enemies are going to be disproportionately difficult because we have absolutely, I believe, no treasure. If you ever wonder what's the point of getting my treasure, this is it. Getting stuck on the Maldives and becoming a laughing stock in the nation. 10 million viewers and they're all laughing, but not with me. Oh, not with me. Can in your back. There's going to be absolutely no chance of getting a gross, is there? Oh, we're at 600 monies. Lots of my materials just died. Even more just died, but we got a gross and a samba. And the gross is unprotected. Have we protected it? No, I think, yeah, Peach was still hitting it. This is very tricky. Samba spam, definitely the order of the day. Lure and push through is obviously our best chance here, but uh, that's going to happen naturally. We certainly don't need to engineer that kind of situation because we get pushed back like mad. And yeah, even Samba spam is not making it happen. I think it might be time to go gauche. Three Sambas, two tank cats, and we'll leave them to wreak havoc. Oh, too much havoc. 
too much havoc. And I've not upgraded my worker cat. Get off the base. Oh, they have. Maybe it is a timer. How am I still unsure about that? Tempted this level twice and I still have no idea what I'm actually doing. Well, story of my life. Anyway, is in force. He has to be, unfortunately. I'm just going to stick with and gross, because otherwise things would just be far too expensive. Oh, peach. Let's try and sort you out. Oh, good. Oh, so much better. Why? Oh, I mean, I, I have no idea why I should be surprised. I'm doing it again. It's, it's taken what? In certain number of minutes of video time, but not many, I bet, to get stuck on the edge of worker cat upgrading. It really is pretty poor. As is that. Scratch it all. You didn't see it. You imagined it. It's not real. Oh, I've done, I've done it again. Stop. Stop thinking you're being so intricate and brilliant. <laughs> Putting out one tank cat every two years and not upgrading your worker cat. Get yourself together. You are not that many levels into this chapter. And oh my goodness me, we're failing again. Stop it. We're about kind of midway. And oh, I've got a good... That's a bit presumptuous. Assuming as if this is going to be difficult enough to warrant it. Well, we've laid down the gambit. Let's see what the enemies can provide for us in terms of spookiness. Scariness. And a hippo. Yeah, okay. Stuck behind the base. Not going to be doing much. I won't... Ca I will cannon. There's two of them. We're not going to chip through them. Okay, we're going to need to fight them properly. And I was going to say we're going to get destroyed and pushed back. But of course, because we had... G we won. Quite easily. Probably didn't need to do that. But we got superior curry anyway. I uh, feel torn about being uh, so immensely rewarded for not actually putting much effort in and making it too easy for myself. Thank you, Battle Cats, for your uh, moral quandaries. Nepal! But will we put in a Nepaling performance? Or will we? Nepal together our resources to win. <laughs> Shut up. Just exchanging bites at the moment. Oh, stop! Right, I'm spamming this worker cat. If only just for the purpose of not getting the cap and staying there. Uh, but I might be suffering due to that. They're biting on me base a little bit. There's a fair number of them. I'm gonna get me sambas out en masse to try and stop that sort of thing causing us a problem. And I think we're gonna be doing all right at that. By the looks of it, things is going well. Oh, I've been staring at this. But you know when you kind of look at something and you're not actually looking at it? When you see the time on your phone, you put it away and then go, what's the time? I've kind of done that with my meat shields. <laughs> so many. Such a ginormous clump of them. It was not nearly intentional. Uh, but might turn out to be useful. Okay, so there's a peach in force. We're going to try and knock it back. And I'd be interested to see how long my meat shields last. Okay, that was a short experiment with a quick answer. Thank you for delivering it with such alacrity, Peige. We can afford one more worker cat upgrade, I think, so we don't sit on that blasted cap again. And are we going to try Son's Gow? Yes, we will. Okay, we're going to lure to the base. We have lots of meat shields here, and then we are going to push through without need for gut. But I think, honestly, we will need gut. Oh, duh, we very much will. No, too late. Oh, yes, by the way, that allows me to conclude... Napalling. Huzzah! Now is actually the time we want to lure because Paige is going to start at that base and if we can keep it behind the base we can chip the whole thing away to nothing. So this definitely isn't actually a luring type level. So that probably means a minimum of Sambas because they're actually just a bit good. It's almost a stalemate. It's lovely. Now one more tank to replace the one that's gone out. This is bordering on strategy. Amazing! Ah! Oh no! I've gone back to my old self. That's flipping awful. Another tank, please! I'm amazed that none of our base health has gone. I'm quite pleased with this. What's next then? Not good. We're gonna try and do it without good. Quick, 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 go, 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 go! I thought I was so close to those monies, but they do move slowly at this stage. Especially when you refuse to upgrade anything. Only time for one more gross, I think, before we're pushing forward too quickly. So we will now just spam meat shields. Hopefully, 
Stopping and being delayed to hit those enemies means my meat shields can catch up with the hitty hitty, hopefully standy behindy bit of the army. Then the Peige comes out. We've got decent meat shielding around our stuff, which is good. That's less good. Terence is dead. Oh, regretful. Terence for this lot because he can area attack and nothing other than good can do that. That means we stay where we are for now and oh good, so expensive. So, so expensive. I may have made the wrong decision. Or not. I mean, Terence is really holding his own, or, or he was. He knocked one of the pieces back, but now is definitely time for good and our very minimal meat shielding. Will it be... Oh, I've done it again. Will it be good enough? It might have been on its own if it wasn't for me stopping my attacks from working properly through the cannon. It's fine. Gut is too good to allow me to sabotage myself. And down. And down. And down. And down. Lovely stuff. Hooray! Oh, yes. We were devoted to the cause of not using gut, but we used it anyway. And we got another superior treasure for it. So actually, hang on, I shouldn't be triumphant. It's rewarded me for cheating. Again. The game clearly loves flexing with my Ubers. Hello! You find me in the wilderness at another time. And why? I'd done some recording, this for quite a while, but only one more level. The world's most expensive and advanced earphones with high quality microphones delivered you something of around this quality. Actually, I like not doing things. So that one's for the bin. But it did give me time to think, to reconsider what it is my mission statement really is. I've got these very unupgraded units, which, you know, I love. The problem is, it just means that we end up using good when things don't work, which now is pretty often. So, we should think about what does need upgrading so that we can just use these units we've got. Maybe even introduce a few more of the basic cats, because at the moment you'll see the only way of getting through this kind of thing is with a go. And so I suppose, given that we're here, we might as well use him and win this one before we go on a Damasian reform <laughs> and start using reputable units. That's Saudi Arabia done. A reward? Where's my reward? Have I got one or not? Gamatoto's back. I suppose it's a kind of reward, but not not really. I mean, yeah, great, thanks. Ooh, yeah, thanks, actually. Two speed ups. That's actually incredibly useful. Oh, and his first engineer! Oh, uh, oh, no, it's not. It's the second engineer for his brother. <laughs> Poor bloke's devastated. I'm devastated. He's been brushed off. I'll try and forget what's happened there. I'll see you later, Gamatoto. Go on a mindfulness trip or something. Don't make it seem like I'm being dodgy. I'm connected to the internet. Oh no, <laughs> it's because my version's so out of date, isn't it? Is it me, or does this make Battle Cats look really old? And the kind of version where you look at a screen like this and go, I am ready to try a hard plus 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 level. We've discussed our problems that we are having with red enemies. Given we've already got axe, we can try that, I suppose. I think we're going to go level five with Gross Cat. Terence is doing well for himself. Oh, I also did this. And it's so cheap as well. Oh. Uh, but I, I don't think it really makes that much difference. It would make a lot of sense to just max out these utilities so that we can have more energy. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. We'll keep the other ones low, which is a mark of my immense skill. Oh, oh. oh no, nothing happened. I just, I just imagined something happening there. Doges are fine and manageable, he says, with a kind of famous last words type of vibe. Look at the strength. We haven't even upgraded Wallcat. 2,000 monies. We'll do one more tank, because as soon as that one goes out, we need the replacement immediately. So being a bit premature is better than being late. 2,000... 400. Oh, the counting isn't isn't going to be that quick. Another tank, I think. So 2,400 again. 2,500. Do I have 2,600? 2,600 on my right. Thank you, sir. Boom! In the desert. Desperately meet shield around him. Throw the cannon out to hopefully distract. Ah, oh, Terence is dead. Rip. Terence was great in that one brief moment with the those guys, but actually not immensely brilliant 
in terms of overall value. An overall value has to be considered more thoughtfully here in chapter three than anywhere else. So let's change tack and I think maybe build up axe cats instead. They'll be relatively weak, I'm thinking, against these non-typed enemies. So we can build up a larger number of them before we break through. There might be a reasonable chance that we can hack at the Pige, which is there already, interesting, and get a decent bit of monies from it. I mean, oh, 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 no, maybe not. Oh, dear Lord, okay. Who's ever known a page to be so challenging? Well, me, probably, like, quite often across my <laughs> career. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could just try and go back and get my treasure. That would be wise, wouldn't it? Before I even say any words, I'm going to... Upgrade my worker cat, right, okay. I also needed to put out tank cat for protection, so my sentence didn't go quite as planned. But we're gonna lure, and we're gonna push through, and it's gonna include some axe cats as well. I don't know really what else I can get to join the battlefield. Well, I upgraded gross. Again, quite an expensive unit, considering where we are and what things cost. The upshot is that my gross cat is still alive, doing what gross cats are supposed to do, standing behind wall cats and doing hitty hitty damage. This is is the very foundation of all battling techniques, he says, in the full knowledge that he will be viciously contradicted because God knows what people do now. Meat shields are like banned. You just need to add the Enigma cat food ability to the level 520 plus 9 million legend uber rare. Ah, no, ah, oh, taking the mick out of my audience. Instant karma. I've lost. However, I've got a tack kick it I can't use. And can't say either. And more. Oh my god, god, what? Have I just been given a million XP for not playing the game for a while? If ever you wanted an argument for a digital detox, I think I've got to say, worker cat efficiency is going to be so important here. We've got to upgrade him further. Level 15. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, but of course! It's a double-edged sword, isn't it? It makes the worker cat more expensive. Oh, flippin' heck. This really genuinely is a financial nightmare. Two, three, four, look, I mean, the worker cat doesn't count up in hundreds as fast as I'd like it to, but it's a bit quicker than before. Equal number of axes to tanks, roughly. I mean, unfortunately, you then left with them going too quickly and you're vulnerable and exposed. Oh no, no, no! How can it be so hard? Come on, gross cat. Leave it open for my axe cat. And come on, axe cat, don't be useless. Two swipes, three swipes. We got one swipe for that one. It's a total of like four hits on the peas. And as usual, it is unmoved and uncaring. And we're gonna run out of monies because we're not killing stuff quickly enough. We're not, we're not killing stuff full stop. Samba, can you do it where other units can't protect my gross cat? Yes, kinda, no, we're behind our own base now. And uh, no, I mean, I am naturally a very contrary person. I just really like not doing what I'm told. But I am really angling back towards the wisdom of get your flipping treasure. There's no way around it. It is an absolutely terrifying experience without treasure. You need it. You need to get it. Don't complain to me about having to grind for your treasure. Wait for a treasure festival. Wait till you're on the toilet. Who said Battle Cats is the ultimate toilet game? Some great philosopher, I think. And it's true. Find an opportunity in your life where you will enjoy getting your treasure. But <laughs> also saying all that, I myself can't really be bothered to go and get treasure. At the same time, we've had a brief moment of serenity with two gross cats. <gasps> a knockback on Peach! A knockback! Yes! Oh, this is exactly what we want. Okay, my grosses are now gonna die, but we got a knockback. That is so encouraging. And I think we might have got one more hit in before we died there. Desperate to get one more gross. I've overextended massively, I think. It's gonna stop and the Matcha Cat's gonna make it just in time to protect it once, but then we've already got knocked back, so it's got no more contingency life in the bank. 
And so we die again. But my golly, have I just discovered that there may be a way out of this? I want to see how it goes here with a gross cat starting off. That is what has been consistently good in this stage so far. Right, cannon you back, hopefully weaken the peons. Oh no, but look at my meat shields. I thought I was building them up all nicely. And then they just go and die. We really need you to whack them good, grosses. Whack that peach good. We, we stalled longer than we've managed to previously, but I think all that's really allowed us to do is fight Hippo and Peach at once, which isn't ideal. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I suppose maybe given this is a timer, I could bring a rich cat. Maybe that would make all the difference. Let's start spamming the meat shields a little bit earlier in anticipation of the Peige, which destroys our meat shields very quickly. Speak of the Peige, what you got? And I'm gonna keep my cannon for when you get nearer to me, for when things are a bit hairy and scary. You know, Sambas, you're not helping yourselves. Yes, you look cool in a club, but standing all in one space is gonna get you killed. And that's not helpful for me. I probably could have been a little bit more daring with my cannon, but uh, when I've previously tried to chance my arm, it, it's only ended in sort of distressed operatics. We've made the best of what we could there. And as before, it is just Peige and Hippo, and it's too strong. Okay, rich cat it is. I'm also gonna conform to that wisdom of using two rather than wasting one. <laughs> There he is. Give it up for the spirit in the sky. And a level eight worker cat. Oh, that really does feel like luxury. And very, very important for a stage like this. We'll do the same strategy as before. As many grosses as possible. Spam all of our meat shields and also axe cat. I still think Terence is gonna be poor value here. We need stuff that can stand back and have sacrificial meat shields in front of it. Fingers on cannons, please. Oh, not better than I thought. The point is now. Oh, that was better. That was a decently timed cannon. There it is. The hippo's dead. Yes. And I told you, by the way, how much more difficult red enemies are. And that just goes to show the hippo comes out afterwards and is the first to die. But my goodness me, we've still got grosses alive. We, up until recently, had a few axe cats whacking away at the peas. We had one whacking away there. Occasionally, we have them whacking away and whacking away often enough. Yes! Look at this true genius. I mean, it could well just be the snipers killing them, and I'm doing absolutely nothing. But whatever way we've got to this, we've done it so responsibly. Low-level basic cats. A stack of grosses feeling much more luxury than they ought to. What an absolute treat. We're over the hump of the battle now then, I presume. So now all we need to do is just keep pressing, pressing buttons, buttons and we'll get there. Now logic will dictate that we'll get no treasure here because we tried, but we got a silver treasure. Marvellous stuff. So, yes, no treasure, no treasure. No treasure. In case anyone wondered why, you know, having got some superior treasures, I'm like, we've got no treasure. You need everything in a set to get any effect. Missing ones, missing ones, nothing, almost nothing. You get the picture. I don't get the picture. Well, all right, here's chapter one. Missing, 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 missing. Ah. Not a single thing anywhere. And that's what makes this so flipping difficult. It's not just me being bad. I know it looks like that. It always looks like that. And often it is like that. But this time, there's a, there's a definite reason for it. And by golly, we need to do something about it. Well, here's hoping that treasure won't be so much of a problem in Madagascar. Why might it not be? Well, if Peach doesn't make such a big part of it, we seem so far to have actually dealt reasonably well with Hippo. So I think it is just the fact that we're really struggling with red enemies because of treasure. That's the thing that's gonna catch us out most likely. Uh, that or being really bad. Right, let's try and do that differently then. I need to save up as many worker cat levels as required to get Terence, which is 
a, a large number. And is it really realistic to save up that far? Hmm, I'm kind of thinking no. We'll, we'll have to go about this a different way with lots of meat shields and lots of meat shields and a cannon. Boom! That's good. Sam Bazaar, as usual, outliving the other stuff and doing very good value damage for what they are and how much they cost. I'm a big fan of that. Two Sambas and a gross. Now that's the kind of party I want to be at. Oh, everyone's left because I've arrived. <laughs> Let's initiate the same thing, but slightly different because Terence is here. Oh yeah, never grow tired of that area attack. Given we've got him, things are definitely going to be in motion. So we'll get a gross as well and just meet shield for our lives. And let's find out what's in store. There's a tree base. I like trees, but what's inside of this one? We go below 20,000 health. We go below 19. We go below 18. And there it is. There's a gory. Signals a music change. He must be very dangerous. I mean, we haven't seen one yet in this chapter, have we? Terence has scarpered. He's terrified. He's left the building. My instincts tell me the not luring would be better. No actual option to do anything different. Meat shield, meat shield, melt shield, melt, melt shield, as they do, melt away. Oh my good lord, stop that just in time. But to what end, really? I mean, that's... Wow. I've had my stern, really concentrated face on there for a moment, and that has allowed us to get Max Worker Cat this time. We've definitely stalled better. So all that's left to do, really, is a bit more of this type of stalling until we reach our money cap. And when we hit our money cap, we'll have to push forward as we did before. Oh, we're moving forward. I don't like that. Terence just before we hit the money's cap and then we shall leave ourselves to spam. You may think my units load back slowly but believe me with chapter three monies it does not matter a fig. Decent clump. This is a clump to be proud of. Look at that. You think battle cats. You think a scene like this. There are a load of happy smiling cat faces ready to wreak havoc on trees. Destroy them. They're like Rishi Sunak. Gory. Here he is. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it all looks so good. But my clump is lessened. I've cannoned myself out of existence, but Terence doesn't care. He's doing the big work for us, knocking back a gory, but unfortunately, that just reveals another one. Oh, that's really bad. And that's where our boss wave comes from. So, hang on, I'm trying to work out the mechanics of this. Did we do very slightly too well and therefore encourage two Gories out at once instead of one? The fact that we couldn't deal with one Gory previously does not really bode well for this one. The time has come to upgrade. And what's there lots of in Madagascar? Birds. I've decided. We're going to get a level one bird cap and we're going to see whether that exceptional attack power does the job. 1300 monies, flipping egg. I really do hope that that attack power is exceptional. Let's go for it. Bird! Which is going to be a more cost effective way to get all that area damage in. Let's just see it in action. Yes. No? I'm not sure. Anyway, the, the attack power isn't looking that exceptional. Those guys are sticking around a lot longer than I'd really hoped for. Never mind, get a cannon ready for multiple different reasons. There's the gory, is our first reason. Oh, but we also don't want the second gory. If that could be arranged, that can't be arranged. Oh well. We've got a decent clump of army. Uh, bird did something there. There was a gory knockback, which is good. Uh, bird, bird death, which is less good. And then this, which is indescribably not good. If there's even a hope of any progress, I'm going to need to either use or upgrade these units. How tough are my newfound principles? Tough enough to stick at level five. I'll also get axe cap up. I might want my accounting to be better. That way, the, those guys are a little bit more significant in the way that they're helping us. I suppose what I'm hoping will be interesting is finding the variable that tips the scales in each of these levels. But that also means I'm gonna be spending an incredibly long time on each of them. Looks like we're a lot further across the battlefield than I want it to be. But maybe we can do a one gory at a time by doing it this way. So maybe just have me bird here, get one gory out, save up, 
up and lure the next one. Okay, here he is then. I shall try and wait to cannon him. We can now fight this Gory with everything we've got. Do I bother with the Terrence? I don't think so. I think I'll just get a bird, realise that we're going to spend almost all our monies on meat shielding anyway, and then try and get another bird. Right, newly upgraded bird, this is your chance to shine. One, those guys died. Not sure if that was really the birds doing. That was Go Bird. Getting a bit of damage on Gory. We like it. We like it a lot. We like that less. Despite all the good we did there, we are going to conk out. That was a knockback for a knockback. I, I always like an exchange like that, but not when we come out on the bad side of it. Right, way distantly in the battlefield again, but kind of nice stalemateage going on. Those grosses, I don't really want them to be expendable, but they're probably now going to have to be. And we'll get Terence this time. Why not? Why not? Let's just splash out. This is my vanguard. I'm going to meet shield along with them up until, say, like now. The idea is, is that these last meat shields will join them as they fight the Gory before the Gory kills all of them, pushes us all back. Let's find out how that quite works. We've got a knockback on the Gory, which is great, but also not great because then there's another Gory. Oh well, we can get another Terence and a bird, and we do sort of have a vanguard and a second wind of the battlefield. Bird gets one hit on those guys. Terence does a lovely knockback. Well done, Terence. Terence dies. Not well done, Terence. As you can see with these things, we are immediately left with absolutely squirrel all. I feel like I have one more idea. What do you do when you have things genuinely considered big ticket units? You spread them out. If you have, like, multiple ubers chance would be a fine thing that are all over four thousand monies each say if you can't stack them you put one out and then another out and i'm thinking maybe we try that here instead of doing my thing where i put terence and bird out in one go we do a terence then a bird or rather bird terence bird given the prices and recharge times so we do terence now although it was supposed to be bird terence bird we'll ignore that that's our vanguard gone rip Let's see how this part of the army does. The most important part, really, because that was just to tease out one gory. Excellent hit, Terence. I like that. Okay, if we can afford it, then. I'd like bird now. This chopping and changing thing's all very well, but with the price of meat shields, it's really difficult to pull off. And then we've got nothing to protect the bird. Oh, lovely hit, bird. Just please stay alive. Probably too much to ask, although I was expecting it to die that time round. Definitely dies that time round. Um, I think the answer overall is just a pretty resounding no. Half of me thinks it is totally ridiculous how these levels have ramped up in difficulty recently. Around here, you know, everything was all fine and easy, and it's suddenly become a real slog. The time has come to just upgrade those flipping utilities. Level 20 accounting. We don't need to get cats any quicker because they're too flipping pricey. I want to find out what the variable is, so I'll give it one go like this and see what happens. I said half of me, didn't I? And then didn't clarify what the other half thought. I'll tell you what the other half thought. It thought that I'm experiencing all of these flipping difficulties for a very obvious and self-inflicted reason. And that's not getting my treasure. I reckon these unit levels would be absolutely fine if we'd actually grinded ground... Grund? For treasure. But we haven't. What we have done, however, is get a decent number of grosses, so that's nice. We'll get one Terence now, and as before, we'll save up. Now. Now? Now. Now. We save up. Yes. Very principled. Well done. We're going to get two. Oh, flipping heck. That is not remotely ideal. Okay, well, bird. And maybe not all three meat shields then, I suppose. Just the Samba and the tank. I don't think it's really going to turn the tide for us somehow. Just too, too, too expensive. Look at this. It doesn't matter what I do anymore. Do you know what? I don't actually care. I actually don't care. I've put far too much effort into this stage not to make it reward me. Flipping force this stupid smug gory stage to let me carry on. Sod your principles. I'm going to win this stage come hell or flipping high water. Oh my god, that was a poor decision. Oh, no, it wasn't a poor decision. Right, it's okay. Ah, ah, 
bug. How do you like that? 60 cat food later. Oh, he laughs as his soul leaves his body. I could have probably done that more intelligently with uh, putting lots of meat shields out first. I've been left to think as my units slowly wound their way to the base. But you know what? Well, overall, we've broken even emotionally. We've finally beaten the stage. Uh, at what cost? I'll tell you what cost. 60 cat food. A cost we can absorb. So I don't care. And I'm carrying on. Hopefully this will be a nicer experience. I want this attempt to be worthwhile. So many attempts in a previous level, it feels like each attempt has been devalued. Nay, this time we are going to make it count. And Snatches, they're just so much nicer a breed of peon. They die so much more easily. Thank you, Snatches, for just, you know, being there for me. You lovely, lovely little creatures. I don't want to move forward too quickly, because this one seems like another level that's initially generous, but then probably will proceed not to be. So let's leave those units as they are, get one more worker cat upgrade, and stew. Saying that though, Samba's still doing a bang up job. Still a massive stack of them. And you know why there's still a massive stack of them? Because like only a quarter of these peons, maybe less, are those guys. Okay, two bad things, getting stuck on my money cap and Jackie Pengs. Not a big fan of those. We're gonna cannon these, try and get rid of as many peons as possible, and then get a bird out. We've got two grosses, we've got one gross, we've got no grosses. Thank you for helping me with my counting, Jackie Pengs. Let's get rid of the pretenses and try that again. Oh, oh, I was having a nice time and these sods have turned up of their own volition. It's not a timer at all. I don't know what we can quite do. Well, I'll tell you exactly what we can do. We can do one round of all our units and that's it. Well, not even all that, because everything's so expensive. I can't even get burned immediately. Give me a break. Flipping sake. Oh, at least that rhymed. That was nice. So somehow I need to strike a balance here between stalling and stacking. Flip knows how we do that, I suppose, by getting uh, gross quickly, but not that quickly. Ah! Did you see me really deftly switch between an ah of surprise and an ah of anger? <laughs> my, my two faces. It's those guys. They're the problem. And now that they're dead, you will see how remarkably easy these peons are to deal with. I'm not even going to get out another wall cat. I don't need to. Look how lovely and reasonable these peons are. And then those guys arrive. And look how painful it is. And then they're gone again. And look how lovely and serene it is. And that's the kind of thing that gives these cats unbreakable smiles. Because all they have to think about as snatches which fall away at their fingertips. So easy are they as peons. Not like those horrible little gits. Right, I did actually say about moving forward, didn't I? So that needs to happen. Needed to happen, probably, is, is the correct tense there. There's, there's no way of doing this quickly enough for these Jackie Pengs. I think we're going to have to employ the rich cat. I'm going to aim to get as many gross cats as we can. It's the closest thing to a good value unit that we have, apart from Samba, I suppose. This really does reflect living life in a very expensive and inflated time, this chapter. You really have to look around for the best deals. For any deal, in fact. It's like being in Poundland, where nothing's a pound anymore. And then you come across a massive bag of apples that are actually better value than a supermarket. That's right, my capital is in extremely niche references that literally only apply to me. But I mean, who's laughing? I've got more apples than you can shake a stick at. Here's the real test then. Massive meat shielding clump, like actually genuinely this time, with some stacked stuff behind it. I'm not even going to cannon because that would probably spoil things. The meat shielding is staying there. The Jackie Pengs are being knocked back relatively often and pushed back by the sniper cat, but genuinely killed by my units. What a difference. Didn't even need gut. Finally. The smile is beginning to creep back towards my face and oh, it might be gone again soon. It's a peach. Let's cannon all that back now. That'd be a decent bit of value for a cannon. We are just about keeping enough monies to keep me shielding. And the hippo's dead. Told you we were going to beat this stage. What do Ghana? What you got? Bad. Excellent, excellent. Good, good, excellent. Bad. Gross Samba and Tank Cats. Oh, but actually, given there are so many peons, a bird might be nice. 
Go, 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 go! Oh, my worker cat. <laughs> Don't do this to me again. They're doing it to me again. I'm actually gonna start getting seriously annoyed if I can't just have a bird cat. It is ridiculous, but we're gonna need to do a fair bit of meat shielding before we can do bird cat, evidently. Multiple Sambas, I'm thinking, then at least some of the Snatches will die, but it's just those guys. My goodness me, they are horrible, horrible, horrible people. Look at this, it doesn't matter what I do. It's a, just a, ah! Ah, it's one of those. Cannon. At least I reached a cannon this time. Oh, we might actually have a fighting chance of getting a bird cat. Hurrah! Only took about 100 million attempts. I hope you're flipping worth it. <laughs> L'Oreal bird. Maybe see if we can stack gross cats. If we can just regulate the flow of peons, get a massive stack of grosses, that would be pretty ideal. Oh, Jackie Payne. Less ideal. But we can almost afford bird. So let's do that. The meat shielding is just about strong enough to keep going until the bird arrives on the scene. So, Jackie Peng, what you got? Not enough, it seems, so far. We got one knockback on it. But he's going to be joined by a friend, which is a bit cheaty. Another knockback. Bird is still alive, thank goodness. So well protected by the meat shields. Another knockback. A Peige comes onto the scene, which is less pleasing. Bird dies, which is even more displeasing. Oh, sharp intake of breath. How are we going to deal with this one? I think I have a good experiment in mind. Also, sod you. I want a granular detail on what tips the balance. Well, let's upgrade worker cat efficiency once. It is obviously good to upgrade your worker cat, but it's a trade-off. Whereas other ones of these utilities aren't so you'd obviously do them first. But we had a particular problem at the start of this stage, so let's see if one upgrade remedies it even slightly. 280, so it's gone up 20, that's gone up 40, and okay, I can see how the upgrades are gonna go from there. Let's see about the pace of money generation. We'll try and do the same exact thing as we did before until we feel like we're at a point where we can go for the bird without catastrophically dying, which I feel will probably be about now before we get overwhelmed. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'll admit there's a benefit. So I suppose then, if this attempt doesn't work out, we'll upgrade it once more and see what happens there. If I go for bird at the soonest possible moment, while there's the fewest peons in one place, does that work? No, no it doesn't. Right, I think it's only fair then to place this between this level and max level. However expensive your unit was, if you could afford it in the first worker cat level, it's always best to wait to get it. So we'll do one worker cat wallet upgrade, go in to check whether at level 12 as it is, it will be enough for the bird. Okay, it isn't. And so do one more. This is what I mean, this is what I prefer, making the exact upgrades necessary to tip us over into the position where we can beat the level like a kind of celestial seesaw. So we're gonna start off with a tank, and then it's just save, 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 all the way. One, three. Oh, that feels good to be able to get a bird on the first worker cat level. And you see, that was impossible to get it right at the start before, and then once you start spamming meat shields to protect, you can't get a bird for ages afterwards. Although, we've paid the price for our upgrades, it's now 320 and then 640 for an upgrade. Ah, worker cat cap. Cringe. Just actually put units out. Honestly. Oh, that was good though from Bird. Okay, full steam ahead with the units then. An attack from Bird. A not badly timed cannon. A knockback on the Jackie Peng. Another gross. Another Samba. Another tank. And the Jackie Peng's dead. I wonder where all that money had suddenly come from. Marvellous. Will what we have hold up? Well, maybe. It's kind of stalemating. Which is good. I like a stalemate. It's much better than the position we've been in for most of today. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm less happy with that. I think I'm probably just better off luring at this point. It gives us an opportunity to save up just a little bit of money. Cannon to hopefully weaken some of the peons. Bird, bird, please. Oh, dear. That was probably mistimed. Went a bit over-egged on the units. I thought I'd be fine. I wasn't fine. Oh, flipping sake. What is it gonna take? Seriously, what is it gonna take to beat this stage? 
or these stages, just generally, you know what? I've got no energy left and I'd have to pay to recover it anyway. Brute force, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna do the spamming properly this time. Two rounds of meat shields before we put the big stuff out. Cannon them away, allow the first attack from Terence to have maximum impact, one hopes. One succeeds in that hope. There'll be enough stuff, it certainly looks like there's enough stuff, to justify reloading this battle. Maybe we would have needed to do it anyway. Maybe it, it won't be enough anyway. I'd rather not spend 60 cat food again, that would be pretty steep. So hopefully, with three grosses, yes, yeah, still three, nice, and some meat shielding, which should arrive quickly given how close we are to our base, we can push through this last little bit of madness and call it a day. Or maybe they're gonna call a day on us. Oh Lord, looks like 60 is the magic number. This this isn't happening very encouragingly. Not even the worker cat upgrades today are gonna make the difference overall. Oh, I feel my soul rotting. There's gotta be a better way. There's no boss health statistics either. I mean, if this stuff keeps coming over and over again, which is a good chance it will, we might well be completely stuffed. So hopefully that won't be the case, or hopefully Terence will stay alive. If Terence stays alive, then maybe we'll be all right. There's a peach dead. That's brilliant. Uh, Terence is dead. That's not brilliant. I think there's a good chance I have just wasted 60 cat food. The cannon is not even nearly forthcoming. So much for being quick to charge up. Oh, this is flipping awful. Is there any more stuff? I'm going to keep an eye on this side of the battle because I'm. That's that's all that really matters is what's coming out or not. It doesn't seem to be anything. Sunk cost fallacy. Let's go. Let's do what I was planning to do before. Keep a little bit of money in reserve to go bird, Terence, bird, bird, Terence, or, you know, something broadly like that. Please don't die yet, bird. Oh, one Jackie Pang's dead. That's good. Right, replacement bird. Keep enough money for Terence, please, which is going to be really difficult given how much the meat shields cost. That's that Jackie Pang dead, but a new fresh one has joined the battle. <laughs> Freshman Jackie Peng. Oh, flipping, criking, goodness sake. Seriously, right, g can you restore some sanity here? I don't care about, you know, principles anymore. Spent so much cat food. Surely gut is less scummy than spending cat food on continues anyway. It certainly seems to work from our corner that we're backed up into. G has rescued us. Good boy. Thank you. You make the 90 cat food worth it. You better believe it, son. Let's go and win this stupid level and go and have a Twix. Oh my god, no, not that price. I won't. Seems quite easy to stack when you've got good, isn't it? <laughs> you just kind of forget about all the abject misery you've been exposed to. The, the mockery that will surely be forthcoming for my terrible performance throughout today. Oh well, we will have reached some point in the story mode chapter. We will have done some levels and some upgrades which have devalued the low level coolness that we had. Oh, this really wouldn't have been possible without good. Well, for any of you who wanted him back, you got him back. All right then, let's do some counting. 16, 17. Oh my good lord, we've only done 18 levels. That's not even particularly near halfway through. Boom in the desert. Boom. Boom. <laughs> More like left in the wilderness. I'm just like a, a hungry bear that just comes out of slumber for hibernation and <laughs> smashes an upload and then just goes back into his hole. <laughs> That'll do, mate. See you later. See you next season. See you in season. <laughs>